Welcome friend, I'm Michael Healy and today we're going to learn the complexities and the mysteries and the wonderfulness of the tape machine. So this is the beast in question. This particular model is a Studer A80. Don't know what it means but it's here and it's for us to play with. What a treat. I am now going to put the tape onto the machine. Wait, I haven't cleaned it yet. Firstly, we have this stuff. It's 90% proof alcohol or higher and this one is for the head capstan. Now, what does that mean? It just means all the metal bits are gonna be cleaned with this apart from the rubber because this will erode the rubber. So we have a special one for rubber as uh, written on the thingy-mobobby. So, to start, boom, uh, cotton bud thing. Just pop it off. Don't lose this because I always lose it. And we'll just stab it in. Make sure it's nice and uh, ready for cleansing. Now the idea is to follow the tape path and uh, let's see what happens. So go right here, spin it around a bit. The most important thing is keeping the tape stuff clean because you know, if you're recording onto it, you want the quality of your recording to be top notch. Come with me, look at that, that is a prime example of a lot of dirt. All this black stuff, I will attempt to eradicate. Now, another thing I'd like to mention is if you come down here, this is sort of how the tape machine works. This is the erase head. What this does is the tape basically works with magnets and inside the tape are these like iron oxide particles i forgot the actual chemical compound and it's like ferrous and something else and basically ferrous is the thing that gets magnetized so when it comes through this path this head here will magnetize it to play the waveform and this head will play back play it back so that is the uh, the record head that is the playback head and this is the erase head because if you come through this way the erase head shoots some kind of generated signal that randomizes the iron oxide so you have a fresh slate it's wonderful i mean if you want to not use it you can push this down and not erase anything entirely and one last thing i shall mention is the type of head here is a butterfly head now i know not too much about it, I just know it means it gives you more options, it's the better one to go for, and we've got it. And you can tell it because it's kind of got that triangle with a line, two triangles with a line going through it vibe. Wonderful. Fresh as a daisy, we can put the bloody tape on. Let's do it. We've got the tape, plop it on the correlating side. It should slot down with a few wiggles. Uh, you push this bit up, and so you just make sure it's on. Lovely enough. Lovely enough. Hey, you pull. Now, the key with this that makes it quite useful is these little lines here, and they kind of give you a general idea of where you want to be going. So, thanks to this, I can go. As you can see, I've followed the line. And now I've come over and down, and we'll push through, and you kind of see the little gaps where the tape should be going. So. Yeah, bosh. Now, this bit's a bit tricky, but it's kind of like fiddly enough where you can get used to it. So you, you bring it to the, um, the middle of the spool, you push your finger or thumb down, and bring it round so it kind of loops over. And you want to do that a few times, just so it's nice and uh, connected. Once you've sort of spun this bit round a few times, just kind of spin this one back the other way, just make it a little tighter. Tightness is what you want, you want a cheeky bit of tension. Just, it makes the world go around a little bit, and it's what we want. Now, I think we should patch this baby in. God, look at all these patch bits. Oh, hello again. So now we're patching the machine and we're connecting it to the desk in the room and the CD player so we can record the CD onto the tape. So first I'm going to go on to 
A80 out, left and right, to tape two. And now you can use tape two or tape three, but never tape one. And I'm not gonna tell you why, it's a secret of the studio and nobody knows. So, just follow the rules. Put it in two. Bibbidi Bosch. Now, this is the desk. We've put that into tape two. In the desk's language, that's saying source. So we've got, oh no, wait, blah, blah, yes, I'm saying the right thing. External one, that's the one that's forbidden. External two, that's what we want. Now we can press play on the machine. We're patched, the tape's on. One more thing I think would be worth to mention is that there's a green light here with the word ready next to it. Now that means there is officially voltage going into the record head, meaning that we could delete some of our precious material. So if we want to, you know, definitely safe ourselves, we can set it to safe, not sync. Defo safe, bam. We can't press record, it won't record. But if you press play. <laughs> So that's basically that. Hello there. So now we're going to put the CD into the CD machine, do further patching so the CD machine is coming through into the tape and we can record it and then it should be a hey presto job. So let's try that. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to patch the last few things in. We've already got the A80 out into tape two so we can hear it. But we need to create um, a signal going into the machine which it will record. So, I believe we go on CD out, that's what I need. CD out, left, right. And what comes out must come in to the A80. Yes, boom. Now, because we're recording, we've got to send this bad boy on to ready again. Energy is now flowing <laughs> through the record head. <laughs> And then, you press your play button. This is coming from the CD, external two, this is what the tape hears. Once you've recorded your song, you press stop and the recording is complete. Now. I think we could listen to that. So you press this button, press stop. Um, sometimes the tape goes a bit weird, I like to just do that. Make sure it's all safe and there's no anomalies in the old area. And if we press play now, what more do you want? And if you'd like to have a little bit of fun, switch it to seven and a half hips. Once you uh, got everything you wanted, we need to rewind and take the tape off and get on with our lives. So press rewind. I don't like to let the thing go too fast because sometimes it can rewind incorrectly. I think it's just because I've got a crappy little tape thing and sometimes it goes weird. So I like to just go at these kind of small speeds, stop and rewind just to be safe. And there we go! And simply re-release the, the thing that keeps it secure. Happy customer. Bueno. <laughs>